your full stack web developer and welcome to coding for all are you ready to ride, dive in the world of full stack web development here at coding for all we are not just another channel we are your ultimate destination for mastering full stack web development and guess what we we'll do it all with practical applications and utilizing free resources in the last video we got to know the basics of command line in seven minutes and we are just getting started so buckle up and get ready to take your skills to the next level make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because you won't want to miss on an incredible content coming our way so what you are waiting for let's dive into the world of coding together right here on coding for all so before we start our lecture i would like to share some hacking system that you can use to impress and afraid anyone around for that go to HackerTyper.com. Let me show you. Once you are on HackerTyper.com, just start typing something. Okay, so this is something that it appears to be like coding or hacking system. And you know how you can afraid once you are sitting at cafe or at restaurant or anywhere where people are sitting around you. Just work on this. They'll be thinking, okay, this is something fishy. Either you are going to hack their system or the Wi-Fi. And the good thing is, oh my god, access denied. Let me try again. Oh, it is granted. So, this is just to impress someone. So, now coming back to our actual lesson, let's talk about the first command that we are going to study is list, also known as ls. So, list or ls command. What it does, it lists all the folder inside a specific directory. For example, if I just open git bash here, now we are at desktop and I write ls enter. So it is going to show me each and every folder that is inside the desktop. But what if I want to target a specific folder and I want to see what is inside that folder? That is the point when another or second command comes to the play and that is change directory also known as cd and this is the command that will become handy for example if i want to open this test folder what i'll do okay but along with that let me tell you one thing i made this folder using our previous video that how we can create folder but I would like you to pause the video and give it a try of making your own folder similar to the method that we tried before. Okay, now so cd test folder. Now see, we are inside desktop and inside desktop we are inside this folder. Now let me show you another method because we are programmers. We don't want to write each and everything so the thing is if i write test fol and press tab so it is already there that means you can even write half or some of the name that is specific to that folder press tab and then the rest comes over here so what can i do now i am inside the test folder and let me see what is inside there let me open this window so if I write list over here using our first command, so yes, we are correctly and perfectly inside. We can see here that there are two folders present here. Now, what if I want to go to another test folder? Pause the video, give it a try. How can I do that? Okay, so I hope you got it because it was simple cd another tab okay so now we are inside this another test folder let me open that here so you can just tally the information if you are getting it correctly or not we are for now we are just mapping out the path nothing else now i don't know what is inside another test folder so i will write ls and it is going to show me what is inside another test folder. It's another test 
or no another test so is it a <coughs> yes so what if i want to see what is inside another folder how will i do that the similar method enter now i'm inside another test what is inside there there is test so i don't know what is inside there if i want to use git bash to see all right ls perfect so this is the complete directory we started from desktop and we came all the way to the test folder that was i mean the function of these two commands that we just got to know one ls that we use to list all the folders that is inside a specific directory or for a specific root and on the other side we got to know that how we can target a specific folder or directory to open and for that we use cd command directory or sorry change directory now let me show you if i want to go back to the root that is something that I can write here cd and then I will write no, sorry Linda. we are back at desktop so there should be another method for this too right so for example if I open this here again I write cd test then I write list then I cd then I list then I cd okay so now we will be inside the test now what if I just want to go one place earlier so if i want to go to the parent of test that is something that i can write with cd space two dots see now i'm here another test if i press this again so one folder back to another test if i press that again test folder how can i prove that tell us okay got it cd and now we are back at desktop so it took me back to the root directory so it was simple cd double dots to get back to my root so this is something that we can simply use to move one step back and for cd we can use to move one step forward but it will be only possible if you are already inside that folder otherwise if i am just here and i on this while staying on the desktop i write cd test there is no such thing all that we know inside the test folder our last file or our last stop is test now what i have done here I just took all this directory and pasted it away. So what if I want to add it? You can see that if I'm pressing the arrow button here, that is the method through which I can even go inside this and write. But you see, if we are pure command line user and an expert, we don't want to use mo our mouse we only want to use our keyboard and for that reason what we can do we can press ctrl a and it will take us to the start of this line and if i press ctrl and e it will take us to the end so you can move in between and that is what you can do and just in case if i want to clear out everything without running this i will simply press Control U, and that is at the end. What I did, uh, for example, I do uh, this again, and now if I want to clear it, I write Control U, and that's gone. So, so this was all in for this video. So I can guarantee that you 
surely would have learned and enjoyed in this video, where we got to know the basic of command line, the tricks of command line, some more command lines for us, and next time we will be learning the, to cover the directories, making directories, and secret folders. But before that, like and share the video and subscribe to the channel so we may learn and grow together. Until then, good luck and bye for Stack Developer.